In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can um, data bind a UX component and then use a custom list control as the record navigator. So you can see here we have a simple um, UX component that has been bound to the customer table in Northwind and uh, uh, I can navigate from record to record in three different ways here. I can press the navigation icons, I can drag on the slider, or I can uh, select a record in this list control over here. But this list control over here is a system generated list and uh, it doesn't allow that much customization. So it would be nice to be able to create a custom list control with the full power of the list control uh, uh, in the UX component and use the custom list as the record navigator. So let's go about uh, seeing how that can be done. So let's first start out and see how this uh, simple list was done here. So we we'll go back to design mode and if we go to data binding we can see here that we have a uh, we're bound to a uh, connection that uses the SQL Server uh, Northwinds database and that we're uh, bound to the uh, customer table and then uh, if we go look at our fields we can see that the controls on the component have all been bound uh, to the corresponding fields in the customer table from Northwinds. Then what we did was uh, we went to server side events, we went to the on dialog initialize event and we chose uh, from the list of built-in actions we chose the load primary keys. So once we once we had done that, so let's go here to action JavaScript uh, edit action, and this is where we load the primary keys, and we specified that we wanted uh, a slider control as a method for selecting the active record, and we specified the placeholder for the slider control to be this placeholder, and we also specified that we want a list control and we specified that the placeholder for the list control was uh, called list navigator. But this list control over here is a system generated list. So uh, as mentioned uh, previously, you don't have a great deal of customization options available to you. The only option that you really have is to select uh, this property here, which says include additional fields to describe the primary key because this list is going to be displaying the primary key for you to select and then when you select the item in the list it's going to go and populate the uh, component with data for that primary key. So the only option that we had was to go and specify additional columns here and we said we'd like column 1 to be the contact name and column 2 to be the customer ID. And um, so at this point now when we run the component we can see this list on the left hand side which is this uh, system generated list and when I set focus to a uh, row in this list the um, uh, controls are automatically populated with uh, correct data. Uh, when I move the slider we populate the um, component with um, the correct data or when I click on um, the navigator here we populate and you can see that uh, in all cases all three of these different uh, controls are synchronized so as I move by uh, populating by it as I change the active row by clicking on the record navigator button both the list and the slider automatically are updated so at this point I haven't really shown anything that's new uh, everything that I've shown here existed in uh, version um, 11 of, uh, of Alpha 5. But now let's go and modify this component and add a custom list and show how that custom list can be used in place of the system generated list to navigate the records. So we'll pause here and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion now of how a data bound um, UX component uh, how you can navigate from one record to the next record by clicking on an item and uh, uh, in a list control and we're going to show how the list control can be a user defined list rather than a system generated list. So what we're going to do now is remove the system list and replace it with a user defined list. So let's go back now to um, 
the uh, ac the server side action, edit it, and turn off the um, list control navigator here. So we'll go ahead now and uh, turn that off. And if we now go to working preview, we can see that uh, that we still have our data bound list, but there's no our data bound component, but there's no list control there on the left hand side. So now we'll go back to controls and uh, we'll remove um, that placeholder and we'll replace it now with a list control. So this is going to be our custom list control. So we'll go there and just say, uh, we'll just call this say list number one and then go ahead now and define our list. So we'll go here to list properties and we'll say it's a SQL query. Our connection string is going to go to the Northwinds database. We're going against the uh, customer table and we want to, uh, in our custom list, we'd like to have customer ID, company name, contact name, say city and country in the list. Now this next part is very important. We need to configure the list so that it returns the primary key. So we'll go there and choose the primary key for the list is customer ID and we'll set the uh, return type for this list to primary key. So this step here of setting the list to return the primary key is critical and is a requirement when, if you want to use this list as a record navigator. So now let's go to our list properties and we'll set, specify that this is a freeform list and now we'll go to our list layout and let's choose one of the predefined uh, templates. So let's just go and choose say this template over here and we'll use a subtle disclosure icon. Click OK and now go ahead and uh, zoom the window here and replace um, these placeholders with um, uh, real fields. So we'll go here and put level 1. We'll put that as the uh, contact name and then level 2. We'll put that as the uh, company name and then for summary we'll put the uh, country and then let's go here for detail and we'll put the uh, city. So now we've uh, customized the list and let's go ahead now click OK, uh, save and uh, go back to working preview. So now we can see our list over there on the left hand side but the list is not being uh, is not uh, causing the active record to change. Furthermore, if I change the active record with the slider or with the navigator over here, we're not pointing to the record now that uh, currently has focus. So we have a list here, but it's not acting as a record navigator yet. So now let's go back to design mode. Let's make this list a little bit higher. Let's go here and change it to, say, 4 inches. And then go back to our server-side um, action scripting. Go here and edit the action. And you'll see now that we have a property here called has custom list view record navigators. I'll go there and I'll specify list number one. Now in actual fact I could choose more than one list. So if I had more than if I had to find more than one list, I could specify all of those lists and they would all act as record navigators. So now let's go ahead now, go over to uh, working preview. And now when we uh, click on the row in the list, you can see that the active record is uh, updating and furthermore uh, not only is the active record updating but the slider is also updating automatically if I move the active record on the slider the active record in the list gets focus um, and if I navigate using these buttons over here uh, the list uh, is also updated so basically the list the slider and the uh, navigation buttons all act in uh, tandem. So now let's pause and show how we can add queries uh, to the UX component so that the number of keys in the uh, key list here can be filtered. So we'll pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion on using a custom list control as the record navigator and now next we'd like to add a search uh, field here so the user can search um, for records and then uh, display the result of the search in the list and have that also update the key list for the component. So let's go back to design mode, we'll go to controls and first let's go and turn off the label um, above the list because we don't really need that and now let's go and put in a control 
um, above the list we'll call it search and let's just go here and move it up there and then let's go put a button next to that search field so we'll go here to other controls we'll put in a button we'll turn off the brake over there and we'll go here and we'll say the label position actually let's go here and turn the label position uh, to none and then we'll go here and we'll change the label of this to search so now when the user um, uh, types a value in this uh, uh, control over here and then presses the search button we'd like to search the list update the primary key list uh, that's being stored in memory for the uh, component so that we can navigate from record to record so we'll go back to design mode now and let's go here and now define the action for this uh, search button so we'll go to um, action JavaScript here and we'll go to a UX component and um, the, we, we need to choose this action get the primary key values for records in a query so we'll go here now and let's say we're going to do a keyword search so uh, we'll turn on the keyword search feature so the keyword search feature just simply allows you to uh, search uh, in multiple fields for the search value that the user entered so the search field is the field where the user will be entering the search criteria and that's going to be the search control over there and then let's say that we'd like to then search in uh, the um, company name field the city field and the country field for whatever the user uh, types in so let's go ahead there and now click OK and then go ahead now and uh, click OK and then run our component so now we're looking at uh, initially we're looking at all 91 records in the customer table but let's go here now and type in say USA then hit the search button so now we're looking at 13 records and you can see that the list here has been updated to show the 13 records in the United States and we can navigate uh, through the various items if I go here now and type in say UK and then hit the search button now we're looking at records in the UK so the list has been updated and the key list has been updated and the slider reflects the uh, keys that are in the key list and the uh, navigation icons here basically also navigate through the keys in the key list so what we've shown in this uh, video is how the uh, record navigation can be based on a custom list control rather than the system list control and how the slider navigator how the um, button navigator and the list navigator are all automatically in sync and we've done all this uh, without writing a single line of, of code so this was all done just uh, by using action JavaScript and uh, server-side action scripting. Thanks very much for watching.